guys, it's Sam. So I've had a lot of questions about my skincare lately, people asking for skincare routines. I figured I would just go ahead and show you guys what is on my bathroom counter. I keep all of the stuff that I use on a daily basis on my bathroom counter. That way it's right there, it like forces me to look at it and put it on my face. So I just have it all in like little containers that I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one or the other. And I have my morning and my nighttime and I figured I would just share with you guys what I currently am using on my face. So I'm not gonna be actually putting it on my face, but I'm gonna talk about each item, what I do as far as like morning or nighttime, and then kind of like how, like the steps of how I do it. I hope that you guys enjoy. I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. Um, huge thank you to everyone who's always complimenting me on my skin and saying that I'm aging backwards. That's very sweet, I really appreciate it. Um, you guys know skin has not been my best friend for many years. I have struggled with acne, like really bad cystic acne, and I do have melasma. Um, I'm aging, so I have fine lines and wrinkles. I have all sorts of goodies, um, but my acne has come to a place where I can deal with it. Like I finally figured out what works for my skin, and after all these years, I know now like what I can use to keep it like the very best that it can be. I always break out on my period, so like currently, I have two like big ones on my neck. You can probably see it right there, but it's usually like one or two big ones and then that's it. Whereas before it used to be covering my whole entire jawline, it was super painful, super cystic, super horrible. So if you are someone who struggles with acne, I would definitely recommend this routine. It does such a good job of kind of controlling it and keeping it um, looking its very best without having to go on like a harsh medication. So. Here you guys go, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is how I have my bathroom counter set up. So this is Jay's side, this is my side, my curling iron is still out. So we each have our toothbrush and um, toothpaste in the corners and then I just have a little mask or a face brush for when I do masks. And then I have these little containers that I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they have them at either or, um, that I keep all of my actual skincare in. And then I have these little pots, these were in the dollar section at Target a few years ago. Um, so in here, keep my cotton pads, and we get these at Costco in like a huge big pack and then it lasts forever. And then in here is where I keep my Invisalign trays at um, like in the daytime when I'm not wearing them. I still have to wear them every single night to keep my teeth in place. So so this is where like I put my little polydent, clean them out, and then in the daytime I can store them in there. And then this I think is jewelry. Yeah, it's like random little, little bobby pins and some jewelry. And then I always have this here so that when I am like um, taking off my makeup at the end of the night, I can put my watch here and like any earrings or you know anything that I want to take off. Um, and then when I self tan, I put my rings here so that I can keep them safe while I am self tanning. So we'll start off in, where am I gonna start? I'm gonna start off in the main one right here. So this one doesn't fit, so I kind of just like prop it up like that and it always falls over. But this is what I actually use to take off, or I'm sorry, no, I don't use that first. First, I use this one right here, and this is the Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Water. This is amazing if you have sensitive eyes. It just comes in, this nice big bottle, I get mine from walmart.com, and it's just nice to put onto a cotton pad and remove all of your eye makeup with. And you can remove the rest of your face makeup if you want, but I find that it's a little bit drying on the rest of my face, so I just use it on my eyes. It doesn't dry my eyes out, and it doesn't like irritate them or make them water or anything, so I highly recommend that if you are sensitive. And then this is the Clinique Take the Day Off. I'm gonna try and focus on here. Yeah, there we go. So this is a cleansing balm. I actually got turned on to this because I heard Candy Johnson talking about it a few, probably, was probably a year ago or something like that. I've used it on and off for a while now. I use it and then I try other stuff because I get it sent and then I always end up buying this myself. So these are, most of these products are products that I have actually bought myself, which is usually the way it goes. Um, I get something in PR and then I try it and then I end up loving it and I repurchase it a ton. Um, so this is what works for me. It does not break my skin out. It's not scented, it's super gentle, and it basically just like melts your makeup off. It's unbelievable at just like removing all of your foundation, blush, lipstick, whatever it is that you need to remove. So I highly recommend that one. And I just get mine, get it at Sephora or Ulta. I usually get it at Ulta. Um, okay, so then the next step, oh, that's not here. Let me just grab it. I had it in the shower this morning. Okay, so the next step is this Murad Pore Rescue Skin Smoothing Polish. 
So this one is super amazing. It's like a really good finely grit scrub. So it makes it like all of your dead skin comes off. If you are someone who self tans, you'll know that your skin can tend to get a little bit dry um, on your face and then it kind of like builds up. So I exfoliate quite frequently and also if you have oily skin you definitely want to exfoliate more than if you have dry skin so i end up exfoliating usually every other day um unless i'm feeling like i have a lot of buildup and then i will do it every day but most of the time it's every other day and i found that over the years whenever i exfoliate more my skin is clearer so and i love this one i've used this for years and it's amazing i repurchase it all the time by myself um, so this is one that I actually got sent in PR years and years ago and then I ended up repurchasing it over and over again So and I get mine at Sephora. It is a little expensive I think it's like around 30 something But it's so worth it and it is like the best exfoliator ever and it's even like even if you are having a flare-up And your face is breaking out. It's still like it's not harsh like it's not gonna cut or break your pimples it's still gentle enough to like go over the zits, but it's not, um, not, you know, but it still exfoliates. So it's really amazing. I highly recommend that one. So I usually keep that one right there. And then another one that I use when I'm not exfoliating. So every other day I would use, and then of course at nighttime, I use this one. So I only ever exfoliate in the morning. I don't exfoliate at nighttime because I want to exfoliate when, I need my skin to be its smoothest and its most glowy before I put makeup on. So then at nighttime, I would use this. This is the Aloe and Lemongrass Wash Your Face Organic Aloe Face Wash. I actually got this, I think it was in like a box, like a FabFitFun or something like that, or maybe it was just in PR, I can't remember. But I actually really like this one. It's very natural, super f like refreshing. Um, it's very gentle. It doesn't like strip your skin or anything like that. It just kind of squirts out like this and it's really nice, it has a really nice scent. Um, and it just says that it's a USA, USDA organic, super gentle, non-stripping, lightly sudsing face wash. It does lather, but it's not like super ins insane lather. Like it's just a nice gentle lather. You feel clean, but you don't feel stripped. So I really like that one. And again, that one is just at nighttime. And then at nighttime, I would then go in with this, and this is what saved my face. This is the Obashi Cleansederm Benzoyl Peroc. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I skipped a step. I skipped a step. Nah. Um, this is the Acne Free Witch Hazel Mattifying Toner. I got this scent in PR a while back, and then I ended up using it all, and I repurchased one. I just got mine on Amazon. It's really affordable. I think it's like 13 bucks or something like that. Super cheap, and it works so, so well. It's not super stripping. It's actually quite, it's like hydrating, but like not hydrating in a bad way, you know? It's really nice, it leaves your skin feeling very glowy, it gives it a super good glow. It's got hazel glycolic acid and aloe vera, and it has witch hazel, so it's amazing for shine control, for acne prone skin, it's super amazing, and if you are on a budget, it's a great option to try, um, because, and I do this morning and night after I cleanse. Um, this right here, is what has saved my skin. They do have a toner. It's pr it's a little bit more pricey than the other one I just showed you. And that one I can only use on the affected area. So only where I have a breakout um, because it can be quite intense. But this treatment I can use all over um, my face if I want to. I actually don't put it all over my face just because my forehead doesn't break out. I only put this on my cheeks, my chin, my jawline, and like my upper lip kind of nose area. Basically just like the bottom half of my face. Anywhere that I would normally break out or get any like little whiteheads, blackheads, cystic acne, this is what has cleared up my skin. It is 80 something dollars. I do purchase it myself. You can get it on walmart.com and it is like honestly the best thing that I ever did for my skin um, and I would highly recommend it to anybody. I originally I think I tried it from Derm Store. Um, I had worked with them a few years back and I there was like a set so I got it and like I've literally been hooked ever since. It's amazing and um, ever since I've been using this my skin has been the best it's ever been. So if you need to get rid of acne, cystic acne, stubborn acne, acne that just like literally will not leave your face, you need to get this stuff and I use this morning and night. However, I don't recommend starting off that way. I've used it for a very long time now so I can my skin is adjusted, but when I first started, I only used it like at nighttime every like few days. And then as your skin gets accustomed to it, because you will dry out a little bit at first, 
um, but you know as your skin get used to, gets used to it you can add it more um, frequently into your routine but now I use it morning and night every single day and it is the best stuff ever if they ever discontinue this I will cry and then at night time I do the CEO vitamin C brightening serum this is um, basically just an amazing product from Sunday Riley. It's vitamin C. It's awesome. I love it. I've repurchased this numerous times. Um, I get mine at Sephora and it's just a really great vitamin C serum. The, the thing I like about this one is that it's not overly oily. It doesn't um, make me feel greasy and break my skin out. It's like very like acne friendly and I think it's really helps with my texture. Um, and just kind of like my overall evenness of my skin. It just kind of just makes your skin look more supple, more even, your texture's better. It just looks younger and glowier in general, so I really highly recommend this one. Um, I used to use this morning and night. I've just stopped and I use it nighttime at the moment. Um, just because here it is so like humid. I can probably start using it again in the daytime now, but in the summer I noticed I was getting really oily when I used it in the summertime in the morning underneath my makeup. So I ended up having to just use it at nighttime. Um, but now it has dried up. I should probably be okay. Cause when I lived in Tahoe and it was a lot more dry, I could use this in the morning underneath my makeup and it was perfectly fine. But then once we moved to North Carolina and the humidity, it was like, and so I had to stop. So I think it really just depends on your skin and where you live um, and the kind of humidity level of your air. But if you live in somewhere that is dry, highly recommend this. Um, underneath your makeup. It's beautiful, but if it's humid, maybe just keep it at nighttime. Okay, next is a sunscreen. Now, obviously, I wear this in the daytime, not at nighttime. This is the Everyday Resting Beach Face Anti-Pollution Sunscreen Serum. So it's a serum, which I love because it's super lightweight. Sunscreen can be really difficult if you are someone who is acne prone. And there's one from Obagi that I really love, but it was a little bit heavy for me in the humidity of the summer. So I ended up having to switch to this one. Um, and this one, because it's a serum, it's so lightweight. It's like hardly any kind of product on your face. So it's really great underneath your makeup. Um, if you do live in a humid climate, I did have to change a lot of my products due to the humidity here. So this one is amazing. I highly recommend. It is a broad spectrum, SPF 30, UVA, UVB, and it's uh, just a really nice sunscreen. So highly recommend that one. I love the fact that it is so lightweight. We move on to this little section over here. So for my eyebrows to help them grow, because you guys know my eyebrows are not the best. I do have them microbladed, but you know. We gotta do what we can do. So this is the BFF, it's Brow Friends Forever from the Beauty Crop, and it's basically castor oil and vitamin E, and it's just a little brush that you brush onto your eyebrows. So I do that morning and nighttime to try, try and help those babies grow. And then I have recently lost a ton of lashes. If you guys watch my Instagram stories, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but um, I discovered that my eyelash curler was literally ripping out all of my eyelashes. My eyelashes suck right now. So my friend Cassie, recommended that I try Babe Lash. So I just got this, um, so I haven't been using it for very long. As supposedly, it's amazing, like, along the lines of Latisse. Um, so I'm going to give it a go and hope it helps my lashes out because my lashes suck. But yeah, it is an eyelash serum and you basically just apply it like you would like a liquid liner. I have two eye creams. My dog got a hold of this one, as you can see that little bite mark. Yeah, she, th she thinks that's like the funnest thing ever. So this is the Skin Better Science Transform Lifting Instant Eye, or I'm sorry, Instant Effect Eye Gel, or Instant Effect Gel for the eyes. And it's basically just like one of these little roller balls. So you just pump it like this. You don't need very much at all. A super small amount goes a really long way and you just kind of rub it or you know roll it underneath your eyes I put it up on my lid as well and kind of like all around where the crow's feet would be it's really good I was using um, this alone and the girl who does my Botox said that she did not think I was getting enough um, kind of anti-aging properties underneath my eyes and that I should step it up a little bit so I put this one on first and then when I'm all finished with my moisturizer and everything, I do this one as well. And I do these morning and night every single day. This is not gonna focus, is it? 
This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. It's so hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, I would highly recommend this. I also feel like this kind of does an immediate brightening as well, which I really love. And it just makes it really beautiful and like hydrated and glowy underneath. But she said that this alone was not enough. So I added that into the little combination. And this feels more like a serum anyway, because it is that gel. Um, that's a cream, so it's a lot more hydrating, but it's not too much for oily skin. But I always do this one, then my moisturizer. So this one is the Clinique uh, Smart Clinical Multidimensional Age Transformer Duo. So this one's really cool. I've actually, um, I worked with Clinique, I guess it was a couple months ago. I don't remember how long it's been now, but they sent this out to me and um, I worked with them on a campaign for this and I've been using it literally ever since the day I got it I was instantly hooked and one side the purple side is for your face and that's to help volumize plump kind of just like think of that as your kind of filler as far as your wrinkles go and then the creamy side is more of your contouring so you're gonna put this on your jawline on your neck anywhere that you want to kind of like reshape and like tighten and lift you're gonna do this one, and anywhere you wanna fill and kind of plump, you're gonna do this side. So I put this all over my face, and then I put that all over my jawline and neck, and it is amazing. It has not broken me out. It's really nice, beautiful under makeup. It's such a great makeup base. And it is also um, really like nice for sensitive skin. There's no like in intense scent. Um, it's just a really beautiful moisturizer, and I do feel like my skin has it looks really just youthful since I've been using it. I do think that my neck has looked a lot, kind of just, I suppose just younger, just tighter. Um, my, my wrinkles don't seem as horrendous. So really love that one. And then I would finish off with the eye cream. I put that on last because it is a little bit thicker and um, I don't want to like disrupt it by putting moisturizer on after. So that's the last step that I do for my face. And then for my lips, gosh, it's not falling over. I do this little patchology lip service. Um, I do this at nighttime and then I have one that I use in the morning. It's from Laneige. It's a lip sleeping mask. I keep that up in my makeup room. So this one I just keep down here and I just put it on at night. And then the Laneige, which is my favorite, I do in the morning because it looks absolutely beautiful like as a base for your lipstick or lip gloss or whatever the case may be. Oh, this is all falling over now. Um, and then this is Jay's one product that he uses on his face. <laughs> it's just the YSL Laham aftershave balm. That's all he uses, and his skin is literally perfect. Um, and then over in this little jar over here, or a little container. Oh, actually, I was going to take that one out because I used that this morning for Lily. Normally, I have this one in here. So this, this one I just recently got. It's the Dry Bar Prep Rally. I haven't even used it on myself. I used it on Lily this morning to help with her tangles. Um, so I don't know if I like it for me yet. Um, so I'll just show you the ones that I do know that I like, that I do use on a regular basis. So when I get out of the shower, I always use the Unite 7 Seconds Detangler. This is amazing. Best leave-in conditioner you will ever have. It's lightweight, but it does the job. It leaves your hair super silky and really conditioned without weighing it down or making it feel like super, like, you know, producty. So absolutely love that one and it smells amazing. This I'm obsessed with. This is the Elemis Frangipani Manoi body oil. I've used numerous bottles of these. Basically, it is like the best body oil ever. It smells like frangipani, so it's amazing. You smell like some kind of floral goddess. You do have to warm it up, so usually what I'll do is I'll just like put my sink, fill it with hot water, and let it melt while I'm like getting my skincare done. And then by the time my skincare is done, this is all melted. I can pour it on my body and it just makes my skin glow and it's hydrated and then you smell super delish. Normally I use the Unite um, Texture Dust, but I ran out and I haven't ordered it again. So I'm just trying to use this up. It's not my favorite to be honest. Um, I don't like the smell of it. It's really strong. And it doesn't do that good of a job as far as giving me like massively big hair. It definitely gives you texture and like you can feel the product in your hair, which you can with the Unite Texture Dust. However, this one just doesn't give me the body that I like that the Unite one does. So I would recommend the Unite Texture Dust over this one, um, but I have it. So I'm trying to use it up and um, I've been a little bit sad with my hair lately. So I definitely wouldn't recommend it. If you have it, use it. But I wouldn't run out and buy it. I would run out and buy the Unite Texture Dust because that one is my favorite. 
And then as far as the dry shampoo goes, this one you can just get at Walmart. This is the Adria by Thalia, the refresher dry shampoo. Bottle is gorgeous, looks really pretty on the counter, and it's just a really good dry shampoo. It's super, um, like lightweight so it's not going to leave that weird white powdery film i don't like bleach my hair as much as i used to so um i kind of have more of like a natural root and so i don't want anything that's going to make my hair look really like powdery or ashy or kind of like white up there and this one's really nice at just getting rid of the oil without adding that like white kind of residue in your roots. So I really like that one and it's super affordable. So that is my kind of bathroom counter tour. What's on my bathroom counter, every like my everyday um, skincare products that I use um, morning and night. And I hope that you guys enjoy. And I like the way I store it because then it's just simple. It's right there and I just like, it's just easy to grab and quickly just like put away. For me, I have to have things in my face to be like, okay, I should definitely wash my face. So there is my, what is on my bathroom counter, skincare products that I use on an everyday basis. I hope that you guys enjoy and found that helpful. And if you are someone who is struggling with your skin and just trying to find out, what is going on here? I think that was like a jet. Um, but if you are someone who is struggling with your skin and you're just like trying to figure out what works, I've literally tried so many products. I mean, with this job, I am constantly being sent products to try and working with companies to try their products. So I'm constantly trying new items and um, it's taken me a really long time to figure out what works for my skin, what is the key product, which is that Obagi, that like as long as I have that, um, I know that like my skin or my cystic acne can be like kept under control, but there are still moisturizers and serums and like even makeup products that will break me out even if I am using that. So it is a fine balance of trying to find like the other things that complement that one key item that really does make a huge difference. I would definitely recommend trying these products out if you are someone like me who has oily, cystic acne prone skin, I have melasma, I have hyperpigmentation, I have fine lines and wrinkles, I do get Botox, um, so I don't want you guys to think that like these creams are gonna magically remove all of your wrinkles, they are not. They're definitely gonna help kind of hydrate, plump, make them look just glowier and more youthful in general but if you want to get rid of your wrinkles you need to get botox or disport there's so many different ones nowadays i get botox i've tried disport before wasn't a huge fan i didn't really like the results i just feel like for me botox works better and i get a really nice glassy finish on my forehead um whereas disport never really like set for me i never really got that like really like wow you are smooth and fabulous um so i prefer botox and i usually get it like Every four months I try and stretch it out too. So currently I am at, um, I got it done in September, it's the beginning of September, so October, November. I'm coming up on my three month mark and I definitely, you can see I've got some movement on my forehead, which is why I have a hat on. My eyes, that hasn't come back yet. Um, but I usually, you know, the forehead is the worst for me because I'm very expressive, but that is something that you need to think about yourself um, and discuss with a professional. Um, it is a little bit more expensive and um, you know, obviously you're getting injected. So that's something that you need to decide whether you want to do or not. But um, that is something that I do do to help get rid of my wrinkles. It's made me feel a lot more confident and it definitely does make my skin look a lot better as far as like the wrinkles go but you still need to take care of your skin in general and the texture and the hydration and kind of the suppleness and making it glow. And so I feel like the rest of this stuff is very important. You still wanna take care of your skin even if you are getting Botox um, because it does make a huge difference. But if you wanna solely get rid of wrinkles, I would definitely recommend going the Botox route. It does work. Um, and like I said, I usually try to stretch it out every four months. I think technically I should do it every three months if I wanted to always look perfectly glass, but um, you know, it is costly and I try to get as much out of it as I can. So I usually try and push it out to four months. I think everyone is different. Everyone's body metabolizes differently. Apparently if you work out a lot and you have a fast metabolism, it's gonna last a little bit less than if you are someone who doesn't have a high metabolism or doesn't work out. Um, so I think some people it's two months, some people can probably get six months. I'm not sure. I'm a, 
I should do it at three months. That's when I notice like I'm getting a lot of movement. I try to stretch it out to four. So I hope that kind of helps you. I'll link everything down below for you guys. So if there is something that you need or want to try, I will link it. So you guys can just click on that link. I'll take you right on over to the product. You can read more about what the um, the snazzy terms are. I'm just telling you off of experience what I've noticed with my skin. I've really enjoyed these products and I'm very happy with my skin at the moment. And I hope that you guys found this helpful. And again, huge thank you to everyone who is always commenting on my skin and saying such sweet, kind things. Cause I've had so many comments in the past that were terrible about my skin. And it was just such a, um, it was like one of my biggest insecurities for so long. So it's so nice when you get comments that are like, wow, your skin's so pretty or this looks so much better. It's like, thank you. Like I've been working really hard on my skin and I've been investing a lot of money into my skincare routine. And I feel like it does make a huge difference. And unfortunately, like sometimes the products that are more expensive are the ones that works better. My skin is a snob. So for me, I have noticed the higher end, more expensive products do tend to work better for my skin. My skin is very, it's stubborn. It's very like sensitive. It's like, um, it's just kind of finicky to where it will, certain ingredients will definitely set it off and break me out. Um, oh, and then I always do masks as well. I usually do like two masks a week, which I keep in like my cupboard so that I don't have it all out because I like to switch them up all the time, but I do really love masks. And if you want a separate video of my favorite masks, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that for you guys as well. But there you guys go. There's what's on my counter and what I'm currently using on my skin. And I'm absolutely loving what these products are doing for my skin right now. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon.